we're J.C. Benny, and we sell more of the holidays. The Lexus December to Remember sales of Taste of the Holidays? Then come to see the light show only on YouTube. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the channel after a little hiatus of one weekend. So this video is going live on Wednesday, as we normally do on Wednesdays for Volkswagen content. And I missed last Saturday. Um, just, I took the week off from work and I had big plans to try to make some videos. Fortunately, the weather was really bad. I didn't get a chance to really do any data logging to the NC. It was just kind of a wash. And it was Thanksgiving and it was my birthday. So I just really took some days off and relaxed, hung out with the family. And um, yeah, so now we're gonna try to get back to our normal schedule. Hopefully we get some good weather soon to get out and enjoy the NC Miata. If you guys aren't familiar with the NC, it is 2.5 swapped and we are currently in the process of getting it tuned. A lot of people ask about this. Every time I've ever made a tuning video, they wonder why it's taking so long, like what's wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's literally nothing wrong with it. When you tune remotely, you have to go back and forth multiple times. Your file is never gonna be perfect. Your engine is never the same as someone else's. And it just takes a while. And I'm on only my third tune because the last two weeks, I just have not had the chance to do some good data logging. And you wanna drive the car through each drive cycle I mean, it's a process and it takes a little bit and I'm not gonna make like five tuning videos in a row for you guys because that would be really boring. So I'm starting to prepare what the next steps are for the NC Miata because the 2.5 is essentially done. It's in, um, I mean, there's not really any tweaking that I need to do. I mean, I wanna figure out how much it makes on the dyno, but I'm not gonna do that until all the tuning is done. And really, I'm just kind of starting to plan for next stages for the NC Miata. But right now, we've got GTI stuff to do. Excuse the workbench. I've been doing a lot of home improvement stuff and have had all my junk out for a while now. But right here, we have ECS tunings, rear subframe bracing. This connects directly to where the sway bar is that we installed previously. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you go check that video out. So the sway bar is going to bolt into this and this is going to link the uh, rear subframe together with two more points and a little bit beefier of a little bracing here. It's really nice anodized red CNC. I think it's aluminum. It's pretty strong stuff. So it comes with all the bolts that you'll need. Gives you four new ones here. And what we're gonna do is just bolt this in and see how it looks. Not really much testing to be involved this time around because it's such a minimal uh, like upgrade compared to the sway bar. Just like the rear bracing we did, there's not really a great way to tell. So I'm gonna get the two cars out of the garage, get the GTI situated and up on jack stands, and then we will jump to the rear subframe right now. All right, so under the car here, we have one of the sway bar brackets there. Our other one right over here. And what I'm gonna try to do is just unbolt each side and pull the sway bar out a little bit, slide our subframe brace in, and then we should be able to bolt it right back in. It should be easy, of course I always say that, but never really is, is it? So the reason why they do include these extra bolts is, so these are the OEM ones that are on your car already. And the new ones that they supply are just a little bit longer so you can make up for the spacing. So just a little bit, a few more threads is, is all you really need. The piece isn't super duper thick or anything like that, but use these new bolts and then we can get everything installed. So my plan worked, not without a little bit of muscle behind it, but there is the rear subframe brace with our sway bar brackets attached in both sides. So you can see that the rear subframe is basically this bit right here and it just creates a new 
mounting point and it should provide a little bit of extra rigidity to the rear end so pretty happy with the way it installed i like that they give you the bolts and everything and this should work out pretty well as far as strengthening the chassis goes you can see down there our underbody bracing still holding up well so now the rear end is is really got some good bracing to it should keep everything nice and stiff without flexing too much in the corners so that is the install of the ecs tuning rear subframe brace i'm hoping that maybe i'll notice a little something but i highly doubt it but overall it should help with the rigidity of the rear end like i said so i'm gonna call this install successful it's pretty easy not too hard and uh yeah ecs tuning i'm not gonna link to the products so you'll have to look it up on your own if you want to check it out so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully we should be back onto our wednesday saturday schedule now that the holidays are over and now we're just jumping into new holidays so I'm trying to think of some new ideas to make things christmas themed i guess but you know we'll see how that goes so if you are new to the channel be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up leave your comments i'll see you in the next one